Hey, 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 what's going on, y'all? It's KIM and the SAV. Kim out of Savannah, Georgia, of BattleBodyCrew.com. On my way to pick up my little wine. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. So, won't your money be mine? Won't your money be mine? All right, so <laughs> I know y'all like my little impromptu songs. That girl got skills. Um, anywho, guys. Oh, I forgot to tell you. It is um, my my site, right? If you like more information, uh, it's betterbodycrew.com. Your email address should be input into betterbodycrew.com. So, in case you ain't heard the word, bird, the website was temporarily down for my company today. It happens. It happens. Okay, we have explosive, booming growth, which is what everybody say they want. But then when it comes, people find out they ain't really prepared. They ain't really about that life right <laughs> and so with explosive booming growth infrastructure has to be worked on right it has to be revamped upgraded updated all that all that uh, all the ups and so today there was a necessary improvement they could not wait until two in the morning so the site was down for you know all things considered a relatively short period of time and um how do i feel about that okay how do i feel about that that's what i'm going to talk about and the answer is really straightforward to the point um i, I don't feel any kind of ways about it i am on my omarion for 2020 i am queen unbothered well actually i've been like that for years but really i am and my team didn't feel any kind of way about that and my customers didn't feel any kind of way about that you know like some people i call it you know a little bit sadistic but I kind of like stuff like this because what it does is it uncovers, it reveals, it peels back the layer, it, it looks behind the curtain and it sees who it reveals to me who is on their PD, right? What's going on with this little dread right here? It reveals who is on their PD. If you don't know, PD stands for personal development. See, I remember a time back in 2015 when I started, and we, we, this was the last time we had like massive, surging, explosive growth like this. And I mean, people were selling, selling tea like, I hate to say it, but like crack, okay? Selling tea so much so that we ran out of tea. Yup, TLC, the company that sells tea, ran out of tea. It's like Popeye's running out of chicken, right? It's like, how, how, how they do that? But we ran, we actually ran out of tea. We ran out of tea for a while, y'all. And when I say people were mad, they were mad. People quit the business. People, um, because they had built their business only on the tea. We had a plethora of other products, but people were really, really upset. And what it, and, and I learned a long time ago, and I've said this before, and this is not just as it relates to business. This is, this is my rule of thumb for life, period. I don't care how you rocking with me when things are good. That's easy. It's when the proverbial ish hits the fan that I take a look at you and be like, uh huh, uh huh. Are you really? Are you, are you really down? Right in my two part voice. Are you? What is it? Girl, it's alright, baby. Y'all, are you still down for me? Y'all remember that song? That's what I want to know. Are you still down for me? when things are not good so all the reps who are like freaking out like how are we supposed to make money and can't nobody place orders yeah you're not on my pd and this is why i tell my team too like money is cool but just because you are a top producer on my team i'm not gonna say that doesn't mean anything to me but i don't look at the top producers alone i look at the people who about their money and also on their pd because it's, it all comes to light if the people that are only about money okay those people when the money stops when the website is down when something goes wrong they freak out i mean they go crazy they lose their cool because you don't stop their money hey baby who calling me regina i'm doing a facebook live you got oh good so they sent you home with a lollipop so now your sugar high can go off on me. Huh? 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 But also, huh? I was playing in the sand and this happened to me. Whoa! How did that happen? I think maybe I got bit by an ant. The ants don't do that, baby. No, I got bit by an ant and it was so irritating that I scratched off the thing. Oh. 
you scratched it. That's how that happened. Kassan, love, sit back and put your seatbelt on, please. There's another one on this finger. Feel right here. Okay. Feel right here. I see. Okay, don't pick it. Okay. I put some emu oil on it. Sit back and, and no, I'll... This is like Put a seatbelt on. I don't feel like pull the police on my tail today. Okay? okay. Give me yeah. one second. Okay. I'm just gonna finish up this Facebook Live and then we're gonna get to some things. Mommy and me time. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm doing one. I didn't mean it. I didn't think it would be this long. But um. But I'm gonna wrap this up and then it's all about you, boo. Okay. okay. So um. I'm happy that wasn't worse though. And I'm happy you got your lollipop mm -hmm. here. Um. So guys, yeah, the people that are all about their money, if, if their bag stops, then they go crazy, okay? Those people sometimes will cause you the most headaches. So I would much rather prefer a person be all about their personal development, like on it consistently, even if their money starts out slow, than the alternative. And, for my, and I tell my team this every single day. We don't talk about personal development as much as we do the technical and technical ways of making money because personal development is really... It's subjective and it's an individual thing so you know we don't spend as much time on that because we don't know what you need you are supposed to assess what you need and you're supposed to be plugging into it every single day but personal development is really the main thing yes it's not, it's not, time. It's not okay you can do something else on it Thank you. no problem but personal development really is the main thing now even with my customers and this is why I say you have to get very very um what do you call it very very concrete about attracting the right customers and repelling the wrong customers I have never been a, a, a quantity over quality person I would much rather prefer to have a few key clients with very deep pockets than a whole bunch of clients with shallow funds okay and so guess what happened when the website went down my customers called me because they know Kim is about her coins okay and Kim knows that there's more than one way to skin a cat this whole website being down thing it didn't affect me at all it didn't affect my money at all it didn't affect me placing orders okay and and my e-commerce store students I'm gonna show I'm gonna show y'all a post because I know y'all don't believe me it's cool it's cool I, I come with receipts I come with receipts like the kids say nowadays <laughs> but um I went in my e-commerce store group and I was like, some people are upset that the website is down or they're panicking that the website is down. Meanwhile, um, nobody in this group is 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 bothered. And, and in the in the comments, people in the group were like, oh, it is down? I didn't even know. <laughs> because there is more than one way to skin a cat. This is what I teach my team. This is what I teach my e-commerce students. And um, uh, it, I mean, it's just, these things should not face you if they do the problem isn't the what you think it is the problem is you okay external circumstances should not determine your inter your internal situation it just should not because if you constantly stay on the roller coaster of ride of emotions throughout your life you're gonna like it takes energy emotions require energy and there are emotions is, is, is a trip but the emotions of the the lowest frequency usually require the most energy so what emotions are those hate anger disgust frustration those are low frequency low vibration emotions but they require the most energy they drain you they alter your blood pressure how you in a health and wellness car, car company how, how, you, how you in a health and wellness company and you stressing out <laughs> You stressing out about stuff. That ain't healthy at all. You ain't practicing what you preach. Right? <laughs> so in these times of um, trials and tribulations, times of revelation, and my it, it shows me who is doing the undercover work, the behind the scenes work that I always emphasize they should do. It shows me so much better than the times when everything is peachy. Everybody happy at 12 o'clock every single day when daily pay hit. Everybody happy then. But let that website go down on your book. Okay? <laughs> 
So I just want you to think about that because again, this is not even about my company. This is not even about business, but there are some people who live on the roller coaster ride of emotions, okay? When it's going up, tick, 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 and that anticipation is there, you're happy. You're happy, you're like, ooh, this is gonna be good. Ooh, this is exciting. But man, when you get to that hump and you drop down, then you start cursing, losing your religion, your heart beating, your man frustrated, you might throw up, all types of stuff, and it's just up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Like, I can see doing that when you're a teenager, because you don't know no better. I can even see doing it in your 20s, because you still don't know no better. But by the time you get 30-ish, somewhere up in there, in the grown, the grown and rusty phase of life, you should know better. <laughs> you should recognize the pattern and be like, okay, majority of my life, I have let things dictate to me how I behave, how I respond. Now I'm going to take ownership that I cannot be in control of everything, but I can be in control of myself. And when you can do that, when you can be level, and you guys know that those low, low vibration, low frequency emotions, um, since they take the most energy, they require like the most of your body, your physiology. So like blood rushes from your head because your adrenaline is pumping. And you, I'm mad, you know, or I'm upset or what to do and worry. You know, it's just, it does not do much for your logic. So you do things illogically, right? Which means you, <laughs> Jeff, I, I, I'm par, uh, um, park now. What's going on, Trills? I see you doing your thing, homeboy. Um, yeah, yeah, man, people be losing their religion. Be like, I repent later. <laughs> but I'm telling y'all, like, at, at some point in your life, you've got to recognize patterns of behavior that do not serve you. Patterns of behavior that do not serve you. And then you've got to start to improve upon that. You've got to start to rectify it. You've got to start to course correct, shall we say. It, it's so much better than the alternative, which is basically what most people do. They just do the same thing and just hope things will turn out differently. Or I don't even think they, they hope anymore. I think they just don't care. All they know is all they know, so they're sticking to it, okay? Um, but yeah, the answer to the question, how do I feel about the my company's website temporarily being down today, didn't phase me at all, didn't interrupt my business, didn't disrupt my customers, I attract customers who are like me. They're resourceful. They're on their personal development. They have a certain mindset. They have a certain attitude. So when the website went down, my customers called me. I took their money. I, let me tell you something. <laughs> and this is why I say everybody in an entrepreneur. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing going to stop me from taking your money. I guarantee you that. I promise you that. With everything, with every fiber of my being, there is nothing that will stop me from taking your money. If you want to pay me, I got you. I'll work it out. Okay? I mean, I had a client send me a check from Colorado the other day. And he always pays by check. I don't care. You can send a pigeon dove with a bag of coins. They got to sort at Walmart. I don't care. However you want to pay me, I receive it. Okay? However you want, not, you know, I wait till the check clears. But I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> I don't understand people who don't think about things in advance or have the capability or even want to develop the capability to be creative or um, problem, problem solvers. But they want to get paid, have, have like a large amount of money. And that just doesn't compute to me. That doesn't make sense. So, Guys, work on that for 2020. Be on your Amarion. <laughs> Stop letting things, you know, hurt you and jerk you all around. And pay attention to those people in your life that only are rocking with you as so long as things are going well. I learned a long time ago. And I am constantly reminded that I don't even know if you're a friend to me until we're not so friendly. I don't care anything about disagreements. It's how we disagree that matters to me. I don't care if you're frustrated with me. It's how you express that frustration and vice versa. And I always try to be respectful of people, but I'm telling you right now, friend, family member, spouse, whoever, I don't really know how you feel about me until 
things are not so good. That's what I look at the most. Because it's easy when things are great. That You can't really use that as a barometer of things. So I hope this makes sense. I hope this helps you. Take these wise words from your friend Kim in Pula, Georgia. And apply them to your life. In the meantime, in between time. Because I'm Mira. Yes, me. Mira, yeah. Look. Oh, wow. So in the meantime, take these words from your Kim from your friend Kim in Pula, Georgia. Apply them to your life. Let me know what you think about this video. Did the um, company being down stop your sales today? If so, why? You need to think about that. Why? This does not happen um, frequently at all. So again, that was another one of the many reasons why I was like, why y'all stressing? Why y'all so stressed and so pressed? Like, when, I can't even remember the last time this happened. But um, anyway, I gotta go, y'all. If you're watching on Facebook, please hit follow and see first before you leave. And if you're on YouTube, hit subscribe and bang the bell to the right thing down. And every time I upload a new video, you'll be the first to know. Joy from Jamaica said, I can write down a book on that right now. You find out about people while you are down. Yes. Yes. Oh, Joy Joy said when the site was down, she did some other part of her business. Absolutely. I, there's always something to do. There's always something to do. So there wasn't anything that was so crucial. Like I said, there's there's it's 2020, y'all. There's 50 million ways to take money. But I don't know the prices of the products. I don't know what it would come to shipping and tax. Well, that's that's your problem. You don't have a Googler, right? I got a Googler. You got a Googler. Everybody got a Googler. So go to the Googler. Ask the Googler. And let the Googler tell ya. Right? Y'all can't figure stuff out. Man, bye.